Roofs first or walls first? It's walls, walls first. Finally found a good use for these ads. I haven't opened these. Oh, yeah. Barnacle Foods, Outdoor Chef Life, Chili Crisp, Kelp Chili Crisp yet. <laughs> oh, I'm like a of this. This stuff is good. <laughs> Does it look like there's chilies in there? Just a few. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I spilled some of the total. You gotta eat it now. Oh. Mm. That's the good stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo, Taku! Shout out to Taku and Outdoor Chef Life. Shout out to Barnacle Foods up in Alaska. Yeah. We're big fans of both. We're looking forward to this. We mm. did. How would you describe this meal, Jim? Oh, doctored Can't. up, <laughs> packaged ramen noodles. <laughs> With 
There's some good stuff. We got some seaweed in there. We got soft boiled egg. We got some broccoli, some mushrooms. Green onion. Green onions. It is currently raining outside. And we're warm and toasty in here. Mm. Could use a little more oomph, but on the it's tasting pretty good. salt side. Yeah. Well, that's always the trick with these things. You never know how much sodium is in these things. Yeah. You don't want to overdo it. All right. That's what makes it push for good. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back everybody. Well, Jen and I just drove out, got out here a little bit late, camped out in the mountains. Uh, we just had a nice dinner of, that you just saw. Um, but uh, yeah, we got out here a little bit late, which you know for winter time is 4.30. So we were able to have a little bit of fire, but then we ducked into the camper, had some food. Uh, now we're just gonna kind of sit back and Keep warm, stay out of the rain, which you might be able to hear. Uh, but yeah, the, the whole goal of this trip, uh, it's gonna be, gonna be kind of a good one. I think we're kind of trying to cram some stuff in, a lot of stuff all, all in at once, but uh, number one goal, get up to some hot springs. Um, go kind of enjoy that. And then there's a lot of waterfalls in this area. So the, the hope is that we're able to get some really good photos. Uh, the forecast is looking a little, little crazy with the rain, but uh, it might be turned into snow, which is going to make for some great photos, uh, even if there aren't any waterfalls in it. But I think we'll get some waterfalls. Um, There's going to be a two-part, uh, but just because we're going to cram so much in there. So um, hopefully we're we're going to get everything that we wanted to get out of it. But we we rolled into this. Uh, this There's a campground up here. It's just easy to just roll in straight to the campground, but. We're the only ones here, which is awesome. So uh, rather than go try to find a dispersed spot as it was getting dark, we just straight to the campground and then we'll go do a little bit more exploring tomorrow and the following days. But we're just gonna chill out, relax, go to bed early, get up early and maximize our adventure time. Good morning, everybody. It's uh. It's a wet one out there. <laughs> we uh, we had a pretty uh, interesting night's sleep. It's, I don't know, it's raining some biblical proportions out there, which isn't the most fun for camping, but uh, we're gonna make it work. So we're gonna head off, uh, try to find some hot springs, try to find some waterfalls. We're gonna try to maybe find a new camp site. Um, I don't know, we're just gonna go where the wind takes us. This is a, uh, it's cold. It's currently sitting at 43 degrees and I don't know, we've probably had two inches of rain so far. Feels like it feels like the river went off that much, but that's winter camping in the mountains, I guess. So, I don't know. We'll see what we find. <laughs> Hot springs were a bust. The uh, road was closed and we didn't feel like making the hike. So now we're hiking. So you can tell by my out of breathness how in shape I am. Now we're hiking up to a waterfall. And uh, we got a glimpse of it earlier. I think we won't be disappointed, but hopefully we can get some photos. It's good scenery. Sure is beautiful. Sure is loud. <laughs> Yeah, it's still raining too. Imagine that. That's 
not even the main event. That is. We're not in the rain anymore. We got up to the snow. We, uh, we decided that we were gonna go on a little adventure here and uh, go ahead and snowshoe into a waterfall. So we'll see how that goes. How you doing so far, Jen? I'm doing great. This is beautiful. She's doing great. It's beautiful. Yeah. So we're trudging along. It's uh, it's snowing. It's <laughs> it's not quite freezing, but. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can get down to this waterfall and get some really good photos. The road in is is plowed, you know, it's not plowed, so can't can't get there. So we're just walking in. So we'll see. Adventures keep coming. Made it down to the falls. Now we're just trying to get down a little closer and get a good composition, but it's uh it's kind of thick snow, so we'll see how this goes. Constantly having to wipe off my lens, but so hopefully they're not super blurry. And we're gonna get back because it's starting to snow, and we got to get another campsite. And we're ready to start a fire and get warm and drier. But one more shot I want to take up top. It's this really nice kind of water right before it comes down to these falls. Nice snowy logs. Really cool. So I think we're having fun so far. Yep. That's a yep. All right. Well, we made it back to camp. We decided to come back to the campground. <laughs> we uh, we kind of scouted a little bit and didn't have much luck. It's 
higher elevations there's a bunch of snow up there and you know the roads aren't as plowed and we just aren't aren't feeling like digging through at this point. So it's easy. Again we have the place to ourselves. The entire campground with the place to ourselves. So that's nice and easy. So we've had an incredible trip so far and uh, I think this is gonna kind of be the the wrap up to part one. because uh, the trip's not over. But uh, you know I'm not gonna lie, it's been wet and that makes for not always the greatest camping. <laughs> it's it's tricky. I mean we're we're lucky in the fact that we have a setup that with the with the truck, the camper, and the canopy, and the awning, we're you know we're doing well. But uh, you know you don't want to spend the entire time inside. We can we can do that at home. So um, the day has been fantastic, even though it's been <laughs> it was wet. It was so wet last night. Uh, it's been wet all day. Um, we hiked up to a couple different waterfalls. Uh, we actually hiked up to one waterfall and then snowshoed into the other one. That was a lot of fun. Uh, showed me exactly how to out of shape I am, <laughs> but uh, I think I'll be feeling it tomorrow. But um, but also I wanted to kind of address, you know, I've been asked this question before, why, you know, when we're sitting here at a campsite and we've got this perfectly good fire pit thing here, why do we use this thing? And one of the main reasons is the fact that it's, you know, people put it's wet. It's really, really wet in there. And people put all sorts of trash and garbage in there. Sometimes we cook off this thing, so we just have gotten kind of into the habit of it. It's also nice at the end of the day, you can just dump out the coals into the wet you know, pit, bury them. They're perfect, so, um, so that's the reason. Other thing I wanted to talk about was the bags you see here, these here, uh, these white bags. So they're, they're how we haul our firewood, and uh, they're actually old grain bags for, for uh, that brewers use. So. So the, the malt, malted barley comes in, or, or other types of things, comes in there. And for the longest time, they weren't really recyclable. So we've been using them as trash bags. We've taken camping to put uh, hand recycling in there. But also they work great for carrying firewood. So it keeps, keeps it dry because it's, it's a double line bag and everything. So we're just trying to really kind of repurpose something. So. Uh, so that's a great, if, if anybody's ever looking for one, go find a local microbrewery in your area or, you know, craft brewery and uh, ask them if they have grain bags. They're great. For them. They, make, they work great as trash liners as well. So lots of different things and they're getting rid of them and they will happily give them away. For them. So um, we're going to wrap it up here. We're, uh, we're going to build this fire up pretty nice, warm up, dry out a little bit. Um, and then we're going to see what, what tomorrow's adventures are have in store for us. Uh, we got a couple ideas, you know, we kind of swung out with the, uh, or, you know, swung out. <laughs> we kind of, we kind of swung and missed on the hot springs, which is all right. But I'm hoping these waterfall photos show, show up really, really nicely. Um, yeah, you know, I, I really appreciate everybody watching. I'll give you the classic spiel of like if you like it, subscribe if you really like it. Um, it's been a while since I've put out a video, but life's just been doing what life does and being, been busy so uh been wanting to really kind of get some more stuff going but uh we're, try, we're just trying to get out when we can but obviously you know weather plays a part in that so. uh thanks everybody thanks for coming along for the journey see you again next time